2011, the year of bloodshed as 101 murders are now on record. But who or what is really to blame for this continuing bloodbath? In this report, National Security Minister Tommy Turnquist says it's a problem that's been brewing for years and has finally come to head. Ianthea Smith has the story. Everyone's been buzzing about the 101 murders on record so far for 2011. But ask Minister of National Security Tommy Turnquest, and he'll be the first to tell you that these numbers didn't accumulate overnight. They're the result of years and years of social decay. The, the, the numbers are a product of what we have sown. The Bible tells us what you sow, so shall you reap. Place the blame at the feet of parents, guardians, and family members who sat by idly and watched as their sons and daughters spiraled out of control and into a life of crime. But Minister Turnquest says this is no time to point fingers. It's time for action, especially with the country's murder rate at 101 midway through September and with more than three months left in the year. We didn't get into this situation today or yesterday. Uh, and so we have to deal with the situation. Uh, we believe that uh, many of the initiatives uh, put on by the police uh, are producing uh, positive results and that much of the initiatives in place have prevented the situation being even worse. So why then do many Bahamians see it fit to blame the government and eventually the police for the crime problem? Minister Turnquest says it's not fair to do so. That they don't know what's in the hearts and minds of these criminals uh, or where they're about to go next. You take an, uh, an incident this past weekend. Um, someone gets shot. Um, his associates uh, realize that the person got shot. They went to look for the shooter. They killed the shooter. There's no, there's no, no police is going to stop it. No minister of national security is going to stop that. But Minister Turnquest says you can, and that's to not cloak criminals. The government is expected to table a package of bills dealing with crime when the House of Assembly resumes on October 5th. Ian Thea Smith, ZNS News.